Hello and welcome to episode 9 of Greg Blog. Thank you very much for joining. Um, I know it's been a while. Uh, my my, my last upload was on Monday. But, well, real life stuff, real life job. Uh, that tend to take away my Minecraft time. And I, I did quite a lot of off-camera work. Um, I made this really small cottage for me to live in. Um, basically, I'm just going to sleep here. Nothing else. Um, I might change it at some point, not quite sure. I made a pond behind it where I did some fishing, uh, which is also, I got the lily pads from fishing and I got all this stuff from fishing, plus um, a broken or half broken fishing rod, which I used to repair mine. I got enchanted book sweeping edge. I was really hoping to get an enchanted book, with book with looting, so I can put that on my sword and hopefully get the second wither head because I still only have one. Um, so yeah, my platform, the center of it at least has quite changed a bit. Um, I, I, yeah, I quite I'm not sure about the house yet. I don't, mm, I think I may change the roof, but um, I do like this. Um, I also changed the, um, Oh, I need to put a slab there. Let's see. I should have one in there as well. Oh dear, I should. I didn't do that right. Um, because there should be slabs. Hello, can I please get there? Thank you. There, and you can't just have floating fences, can you? Come on, that's really. really <gasps> Ridiculous. So, um, yeah, it's a bit precarious, but I made a stair here. Look, um, I incorporated the squid island more into the hole, and I did make an easy way down for myself with this trapdoor. Whee! Um, I've also made the water area uh, bigger, so it was four blocks. Now it's twelve blocks. So I'm getting a lot more squid and a lot more insects. Um, unfortunately, there is no easy way up. Um, well, I could have kept the stairs. I did the ladders. I didn't like it that much, so I made these stairs. Uh, I don't have to be down here a lot. It's not too bad. Blum, blum, blum. And I, I like that it's more part of the entire built now rather than sort of like oh yeah because we needed to have it no it's it's really part of the platform um i do want to close this one up i made the steel meshes in between so this was 80 steel just for the meshes and i got all the stuff for um this quest the tier 3 sifting with uh Lead, silver, uranium, magnesium, thorium, so blah, blah blah, and a few others. And now it wants us, me, to do s uh, dust. So let's do some dust, and we'll wait for that to come back. The last one, of course, is for the aluminium meshes. So uh, insects. Yeah, I don't think I have to worry about insects much. Three and a half stacks. Do we have a skeleton? We do. I've been really unlucky with the wither heads, so I'm really I'm gonna do more uh, fishing, and hopefully I'll get rooting. Come on! Just need a few more heads. I got a second one. Ooh, I got it on camera even. <laughs> Great. But you can see the amount of bones I have and the amount of graves dust. Uh, rotten flesh. Oh yeah, and I got these uh, Halloween lollipops. Um, I don't know what they're doing. Um, I guess worst thing that can happen is that we die. Um, and I didn't want to eat them off camera, so let's just. Instant health. Nice. 
Not so bad. Okay, you want to do the second one? Let's do the second one. Night fishing. Well, okay, it's daytime, so I'm not going to see much of that. And, oh, it's for 10 minutes. Nice. They're pretty cool effects. Um, by the way, uh, if you want to know how far along... Oh, it's already done. If you hold shift on the, at the top of the screen, the one probe would show you how much is still in there. Um, okay, we got some glowstone, some sky stone, and some blaze powder, which I think is exactly what the quest wanted me to do. Check. And then soul sand, just throwing a blazing doll. Oh yeah, I need to do that as well. I need to summon a blaze. I don't, I don't want to do that out in the open. Um, to make that door, you're going to need a nether wart, obtaining by sifting soul sand. Soul sand, we've no, we've done that. We we made the oil with it, right? Okay. Um, we can do some of that today, but I won't be summoning the blaze unless I have a building for um, for them to be spawned in. That's kind of safe-ish. I am quickly running out of drawers here, by the way, so I may have to move this around a bit and add a few more. I have, what else, glass, clay, mm. yeah. Um, I also made all the steel um, for these machines. And that was 168 ingots of steel for the high pressure steam stuff. So all of this except for the pump which apparently we don't need high pressure. Um, I did move it by the way. It was again when I came back online it was uh, it pumped steam into the water pipe. So. Um, yeah, it's constantly filled with steam. I did f change the pipes for the uh, medium ones because they transport more steam and to save on them I put them a level higher. So that's gonna say that save me one, two, three, four, uh, six or seven. And you only get two per recipe, so that was that was definitely worth that's about uh, eighteen to twenty one bronze plates. Still is still going on a bit. I, I should drop in a bit more charcoal soon. Um, but yeah, we have some two more quests in here that we're probably going to need before the next one. You can see the next chapter. H2 has opened to low voltage age. Um, we go from low voltage to medium voltage to high voltage to extreme voltage to Immense voc uh, voltage. Focus, did I say focus? Voltage. Um, idiot voltage. Ludicrous voltage. I don't know. So, seam, of course, is the, you know, the two tiers, but it's quite low. And then we go to the first electric age. And then we go up the tree towards the higher energies. But before that, we need to make a solar boiler and a primitive circuit. Now that you have steel, you're able to make a primitive circuit, a vacuum tube. It's used for making only one machine. And you know what's better? You probably never make it. It's just used for making the most basic, basic circuit. But those are just small details. Details. Anyways, to make one of these bad boys yourself, you're going to need a glass tube, some paper, and a regular or fine copper wires. The glass tube is made with a ball mold and glass dust in an alloy smelter Paper can be made in two ways, either with wood pulp and water, or chat and stone slabs. I have some paper, I can do paper. And for making the wires, you're going to need a wire cutter. Okay, what does this feel like I'm doing Blue Peter here? I need a glass tube, some paper, and some sticky back plastic. Um, sorry, empty shape plate. A empty shape plate, 
that's a file, a hammer, and a four steel. Uh, let's, let's not throw my steel on the ground. Um, four plates. This is it is a lot quicker. Well, it's it's quicker than the lower tier steam hammer and a file. Do 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 do. I had to make a new wrought iron bending cylinder, and it's almost already broken. Um, that's the empty shape plate to make molds and extrude shapes. That's easy enough. But then now we need the mold bowl, glass dust and the wire cutter. Um, how much glass dust do we need for the glass tube and for the vacuum tube? Let's see. Glass tube takes one dust and we use that to make this one. So I just need one. Okay. Then let's do one. I have the wire cutter from a previous quest. And I know I made paper. I just need to figure out again how I did. I think glass goes in. Oh yeah, I made some sugar. Uh, so I can make some more pumpkin pies. I'm loving these pumpkin pies. And it's almost Halloween, so why not, right? Um, the mold is just a hammer, okay, which probably left in my crafting table over there. Do, do, do. Yep. Bowl, okay. And then a paper. Now, yeah, I made paper, but it's been a bit. So I did chat with two, and that is three. Oh, actually, I can probably use my four chamber now. Oh no, for that's not it. Okay, so I need three sugar canes with the mortar to get some chat. That's gonna give me two. So if I want six, I'm gonna take nine sugar canes. And I also need two slabs. Oh, I still have those on me. Do, do, do. Mortar. Because apparently this is not something I can do in a macerator. Maybe because it takes three sugar cane. And the macerator doesn't understand that. It's going to make sugar from it. Come on. Sure. Thank you. Then ace slabs, and it doesn't consume the slabs, so let's put it back. Um, glass tube. It was in the alloy smelter, which is also over there. I am liking this. Uh, these machines, and uh, it's different. I mean, we've all done the sack mill, we've all done terminal expansion machines, right? Um, so yeah, it's a bit different. I like that. And I'm guessing it's not consuming the molds, which is nice. Glass tube, and then the next thing is we need copper wires times three, which is copper plates. So I need three copper plates. Let's see if I have any. I do not. I have another steel plate. I can probably put this in. Oh, actually, that's a tool. Tool goes in here. No. Three. That's going to give me four. Which is nice. And then, let's see. Do, do. Do with the wire cutters makes three copper wires. Oh, right here, and then we have a vacuum tube. 
and we'll probably never make it or the machine not sure so we made a vacuum tube that we're probably never gonna make now I don't think they would have added the quest if it's true yeah uh, solar boiler though I think I liked it and I might make a few more depending on how pricey they are uh, because you know I could put them on the roof and just put a bunch of them there and and get free steam silver plates uh, five bronze plates and two small bronze pipes which we should have and also 12 bricks one two three two which do you be make into bricks with this thing That's makes sense I guess it's it's not a huge deal it's just a bit more work um, put this in there okay so we set five bronze plates we have exactly none left um, Go and break some. Oh yeah, I made some signs here for myself. I now know. I know if I need copper, I'm gonna do gravel in the tin alloy mesh. If I need iron, I'm gonna do gravel in the string mesh. I guess that's gonna give me the highest. Oh, I'm out of bronze. Can I make this in the alloy smelter now with tetrahedrite or just copper and tin? Let's see. One, two, three. Six and this is tin. Let's do this and start melting in the and I melter. Should give me some more bronze. Uh, we also need a three silver plate, so that's going to be six ingots of silver, which is good. Those are done. Do 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 six. Yes, that's gonna give me four. Oh, by the way, the problem I had um, last time, I almost forgot about that. Um, it would only do one. I had to break it, and then the reason was that these plates were here, covering uh, covering the pipe, and that counts as a block. Actually, um, this may still count as a block. I'm just gonna have to be careful not to walk there. Uh, apparently, you can't even put a torch behind these machines, and it won't because it won't work. Um, they're very picky, and the cover counts as a full block, which I learned on Discord, and then also Kyoto told me. Five. This is gonna be eight. Oh well. Oh, a dust copper. That's okay. That's good then. So we need the bricks uh, with the hammer and the bronze plates, and then the glass, which I have plenty of. I just forgot to bring it. Do solar steam solar boiler whatever um like i said i might make a few more of this they're not that expensive really um so yeah why not uh, I, I need to check how much resources they give me um but um it sounds like he sounds like something useful i want to just clean up my inventory a little bit still us there okay done so this is the whole, for now, H1 is done. H0, we have to do the blazes and the wither. H-1, we've done the bonfire. So we now can go into the low voltage age. In order to get into low voltage age, you're going to need to make your very first basic circuit. In order to make it, you're going to need three red alloy cables, two vacuum tubes, two resistors, 
which are made with paper, coldness, and regular or fine copper wires, is too flayed and the coated circuit board. You made it earlier. To make red alloy cables, you're going to need red alloy, an alloy of redstone and copper, mix wires, insulate, blah blah blah. Okay. One red alloy ingot, but that seems. Uh, that doesn't seem like much. So we may just make a few more. Wow, four redstone and one copper makes one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do four, which, I mean, uh, I don't have a redstone shortage, that's for sure. Redstone ingot. Uh, uh, for now, I think I'm going to just put low voltage in here with this steam. Uh, you know, as long as we can do that. Then the next is coal dust, black carpet, and red alloy wire. Now, I made black carpet, but then I used it um, because... I need it for one of I think for the timer I may have used it or one of the other machines. Mm. I actually want to make some shears, uh, not platinum, tin. So tin plates. Uh, then I can shear my sheep and get the rest from string, but I don't want to use uh, only string. That's already done, that's pretty quick. Ding a ling. Thank you. Hammer and casting the file for the shears. Let's see. Um, file. Is the hammer still in here? Somewhere. I also forget to take it out of the crossing tables. Yeah, here it is. Um there you go. Tin shears. Let's take them out this time. And let's see how much wool we can get from our sheep. I have a, uh, about four I think. Not a huge amount, but I also have the string and I can always make more string. I have plenty of worms, right? Come on. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Um, black wool. Okay, so it's one per. We need carpet. It's only two wool, and oh, well, we have plenty. And if you grow back your skin yet, I could try with orange wool as well. Why not? All right, and out we go. Uh, might as well, while I'm here. Although I have to say my food chest here is getting pretty full. I think I'm gonna take some of these seeds because I believe they can also be composed into dirt, right? Yes. Uh, eggs, they don't fill anymore either. It's all gonna be dirt. Sorry, it's all gonna be dirt. Um, it wool, so that's only two. Uh, for carpet, we only need two wool, right? So let's make two black wool for now. Can I do this? No. Uh, guess not. Okay. And black carpet. And I'm afraid I'm just gonna delete these. I don't really care much about them. And the rest of the wool goes here with the resources. Let's see, we have some time. We might be able to do a bit more. So we have the carpet, we need coal dust and the red outer wire. Um, I'm guessing coal dust in the macerator. Yes, makes sense. <laughs> and tin uh, wire, red alloy wire. That is alloy plate. Yeah, I'm glad I made more than just the one. Um, 
although I'm still not sure if this is now going to be enough. And then the shear, uh, the clippers, what is it, wire cutters. You can go in there and you come out. One red wire. That is resistor, red alloy cable and vacuum tube. Two resistors, two vacuum tubes. Um, resistors are copper wires, coal and paper. Do I have any copper wires left? No, I have one copper plate left. We need uh, one, two, three. That's gonna give us two. That's gonna make three of them. Oh, that's nice. That is quite nice. Um, go ahead and start pressing that. Thank you. two wires, then we should have everything for the resistors, thank you. Um, two vacuum tubes, so I need three more copper wires and another of those glass, glass dust pulverized glass, so one more of that, uh, one more of that, the mold, and uh, I have to paper on me, that is good. Copper, um, glass in here with the mold. Then I think it is two, right? Um, three, it is three, okay. One more of these. So we have two resistors, two wires, and now we just need the red alloy cable, which I'm guessing is, oh, with a piece of string. That's right. I. I'm trying to think what I use them for. Uh, I made some other cables before. Let me see, uses for the black carpet. Um, I'm trying to think what cable I made. I made not sync cable. I'm trying to the tin cable. Oh yeah, it was for the, uh, the electric motor, which I used for the servo, which I then didn't use. Mm -hmm. um, let's see if this is shapeless or not. It is. So we have the cable. Right. And now we can make a basic circuit. Which oh, yeah. with steel plate and the coated circuit board, board which we have here, I forget, um, mouse tweaks is not working with Greg Tech chests, but this, why would you ask me for one alloy cable, and you very well know I'm gonna need three. So that means I need three, I need at least two more rest on alloys. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I just grab a bunch. Four. Um, wire cutters are on me. I have, I need two more string. Let's first put this in here. Mm -hmm. He might just run a little bit late. But I think it's worth, you can, you know, you haven't seen me do many quests because all of this, it's pretty boring really. I mean, it's just making the plates and, um, and making the bricks, etc., etc., making the curved uh, 
plates to make the uh, I need two the curve plates for the pipes etc and uh, you know it's not that interesting to watch really but at least you got to see me do this quest and next episode you're gonna see me hopefully um, summon a blaze and hopefully successfully fight the blaze oh hello oh two of them okay well isn't that friendly <laughs> I'm guessing it's just for a few more days and then Halloween is gone and you know they'll be gone okay so we did the basic circuit we get a trophy Anaya I have another trophy There you go, H2 trophy. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, this is not this is not even all of it. Um, uh, <laughs> Pixel posted a picture in Discord today of the new LV and MV and HV quest lines. Um, this is not half of it, I think. But we're gonna make. Oh, the large board. That's a multi-block structure. That is a big multi-block structure. 23, 30, 33, 36 blocks. How much? 36 blocks. 40 lunch. Large, large bronze. I can talk. Large bronze. Does it tell me what it needs? Oh, dear. That is a big one. Yep. Solid fuel or some high density fluids act like energy source for the large boner. Tears differ only by amount of steam output. It. Oh, this is nice. We get the preview again. Bottom layer, second, third, and fourth. Oh, okay. So I'm probably gonna do a lot of bronze, so it means a lot more copper. Yeah, aren't you happy? I'm gonna do that in between episodes. And also, with the steam. The steam turbine can turn steam into power. To make it, you're going to need motors, which are magnetic iron rods made by crafting together an iron rod and four reds. I've actually done that for the servo. Tin cables. It also requires an LV, LV machine casing. Have a quick look at that before we wrap up. Casing. ULV. Hmm. LV machine casing is steel. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm gonna need a lot of steel. And that means uh, charcoal I'm not doing bad on. Iron, one stack, one stack of copper. Yeah, I'm gonna do a lot more gravel uh, in the 10 other mess as well as the string mesh. Luckily, we do now have a better means of getting gravel with the hammer this goes quite quickly it's uh, probably quicker than me putting down the blocks and then feign mining it with the hammer uh, so yeah i'll be doing that in between episodes i hope you enjoyed this one if you did please leave a like i would really appreciate that and all of your comments and feedback i love them i'd love to see anything that you think about this series um, any tips ideas um, you've been very helpful so far let me know um, if you click the subscribe button, you'll be notified when the next video comes out, which hopefully is not going to be too long. Uh, I mean, the weekend's coming up, so I should have a bit more time to work on this. Uh, until next time, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.